Back Alley Cat. Hello, my apologies in advance for how I sound. I am currently ill, so a lot of you guys have been asking me how to play Reinhardt, and hopefully I'll be able to help you out with this. Reinhardt is a 61-year-old German man who uses a hammer to hit people to death and enjoys pruning the coleus plants in his garden. Reinhardt's left click is his Fix-It Felix move. There's not much to it, he just starts swinging his hammer. Uh, you really can't blame him though, he used to work construction, so hammering things just comes naturally to him. Reinhardt's right click is his shield move, and he basically just creates a big blue shield that will stop projectiles. It won't block things like channeled weapons like Winston's taser or Symmetra's balls though, so just a heads up. Something really cheesy you can do with this move is to just sit on the payload if your team doesn't need help elsewhere, uh, and you'll pretty much create a moving fortress. So you can't move fast, but to compensate his shift ability is pretty good. It makes you use the rockets on your back to go super fast, and you can also move your guy a little bit to the left or the right. When you're in spaceship mode, you can make contact with an enemy and thus you can push them off the map or into a wall and they'll usually die. Reinhardt's E is his fireball move, which makes him throw a fireball at someone. If it makes contact with them, it hurts them because it's a fireball. To be honest though, you're probably not going to be landing a lot of these at long range, so just use this move as an intimidation tactic, a warning shot, or even my personal favorite as a way to prepare your food. Reinhardt's ultimate move is his hammer time move. Uh, he just hits the ground with his hammer, and it's so strong that everyone in the radius falls down. It doesn't do too much damage, but you can easily set up really good wombo combos with it, or you can use your rocket move to get an easy kill. Fantastic, but no one really cares about the moves anyways, so let's just move on to the tips and tricks. Look at Reinhardt, okay? Look at him. Look at what he's holding, look at what he's wearing, the touches of red are incredibly stylish. You're looking at a man who is not only incredibly stylish and flashy, but is capable of wearing... Hold on, let's uh, let's calculate it. 2.23 meters, 7 foot 4 for all you Americanos, okay... It's really heavy, okay? I guess what I'm trying to say is, if you want to play a strong Reinhardt, you're gonna have to get ripped. So these are the weights I've been using. They're still a little hard for me, but they're an improvement from what I've been using last week. Uh, to work out with them, you can put them on a stack of paper on your desk, use them as a doorstop, or turn them into contemporary art. If your arms don't hurt after picking them up and placing them to do all these things, that's great. Uh, but still, just make sure to pace yourself because you could get DOMS, or delayed onset muscle soreness, uh, which is actually a form of muscle damage. It's basically just microscopic tearing of your muscles. So, surprise, you're ripping your muscles apart internally. Once you guys feel like you've had enough uh, time at the home gym, there's nothing stopping you from going into a real gym. Hi, um, I was just wondering how long it would take me to get really ripped. I'm sorry, I apologize for that. That's an unusual question. No one's ever asked me that on the phone. Oh, it's okay. I don't know. Depends on a lot of different things. Are you a member with us? Uh, no, I'm not, but basically I want to get, like, super huge, like Reinhardt. Okay. Do you know how long that would take? I don't know. A year? Huh. Okay. Well, thanks a lot. You're welcome. Thanks, bye. Bye. Uh, never mind. That would take way too much time, and I'm not down for that. Although... <laughs> Okay, that should just about do it. Uh, remember to protect your teammates with your huge ass shield and divert attention away from your carries. Before I go, I just want to give a huge thank you to Dana the Donut, who is just an outstanding artist and drew this for me on a commission. Honestly, she did a fantastic job and I'm ecstatic with how it turned out. If you guys like art, I would highly recommend following her on the Tweety to see some of the stuff she puts up. It's top notch. Speaking of her art, uh, why don't I show you some right now to divert attention from what I'm about to say. There's really no easy way to put this. And I know some of you guys might just be warming up to the new channel art now, um, but I'm gonna have to switch it yet again to this. I made the current one and liked it at the time, but I don't think it's the proper... <laughs> 
for the type of content I produce, and I think this is a step in the right direction. I promise I won't be switching anything for a while after this one, uh, because I couldn't be happier with it, and I hope you guys like it too. So thank you so much for your understanding. I'm now going to show off all the art you guys have sent in, because I'm very grateful for it, and I want to show off your talent before the change. Um, I'm super appreciative that you guys would even draw me art in the first place, and I love it no matter how it looks, so you guys can draw whatever you want if you want to send it in. I, I'll love it no matter what. Okay, bye.